Hey, what's up? It's John, aka Operation iDroid, and recently a comment that I've been getting a lot is how do you play PS2 games on iOS or how do you play GameCube games on iOS? And that's a pretty fair question. We already have PlayStation 1, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 64, and Game Boy Advance all available on iOS, so what could possibly be next? PS2 and GameCube games. Now, I made a video talking all about this a couple of months ago, about two emulators that are currently available right now. One is called Play, a PS2 emulator, and the other is called GC for iOS, a GameCube emulator. And in that video, I said that those two emulators were basically dead, nobody is developing them, and they run super slow. However, I was wrong. There may be a future for these two applications because they're still being developed right now. So in this video, we're gonna discuss when PlayStation 2 and GameCube games will be playable on iOS and if that's even possible. But before we get into that, I wanna to talk to you about another application that I've been playing recently that you've probably heard of and actually partnered with me on this video. It's called Raid Shadow Legends. It's a mobile RPG game that has everything that you expect in a normal RPG. It has an amazing storyline, awesome 3D graphics, giant boss fights, PvP battles, and hundreds of champions to collect and customize. If you're looking for a new game to dive into and completely immerse yourself in, Raid Shadow Legends is the game for you. It's available on iOS and Android, and the best part is, it's completely free. This game is great, and I've had a lot of fun playing it recently. The voiceovers and the cutscenes are clean. So if you want to check it out, I'll have two links in the description below, one for iOS and one for Android. And by using my link, you'll get 50,000 silver as well as a epic champion. So that's a great way to start off. I wish I would have used my link, but there you have it, Raid Shadow Legends. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. So as I mentioned before, I've made a video about this same topic a couple of months ago, and I've been following the progress of PS2 and GameCube games on iOS for years now. But in my last video, I was mistaken when I said Play was no longer being developed. That's the PS2 emulator. It's actually still being developed right now. And the reason that I could not get it working in my last video is because as of now, Play only works with jailbroken devices because it uses JIT in order to, is it, is it JIT? I always say JIT or is it J-I-T? I don't know about that, but I'm just gonna call it JIT which is what allows the games to run at faster speeds. You've probably seen it before if you've ever used PPSS PP. That's why when you try to play games on PPSS PP, they automatically crash, and then you have to go into the developer tools and change the CPU core to IR interpreter instead of JIT, because JIT does not work without a jailbreak. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more later. But as I was saying, Play is still being developed and when I was able to try it out myself on my iPhone 10 that was jailbroken that I unfortunately do not have anymore, I traded it in for an iPhone 11, which I'm super happy with, but I no longer have a jailbreak, but when I did, I was able to try a couple of games and I was getting 18 to 22 frames per second while playing games and optimally you would want to get 30 to 60 frames per second with 30 being the minimum and it was pretty close to running full speed on an iPhone 10. I saw a video on YouTube of a guy playing Final Fantasy 11 on an iPhone 10s Max and it was running at full speed for him in certain areas, which is pretty crazy to think about PlayStation 2 games running at full speed on iOS, but it all varies from game to game and there are graphical glitches with this play emulator. It still has a lot of work, but the speeds are slowly creeping up and getting to where it needs to be to run at full speed, which is awesome. So I'm gonna continue to track, play, and see where it goes in the future with new updates. And hopefully when an iOS 13 jailbreak comes out, I'll be able to test it out on an iPhone 11, which is even faster than the iPhone 10 and see what the speeds are like there as we slowly and slowly get closer to full speed for PS2 on iOS. But unfortunately, like I said, as of now, it's jailbreak only. Maybe in the future we'll be able to have PS2 with no jailbreak. Moving on to GC for iOS, which I also said the development was done and dead in the water. I was not wrong about that because the original developer of GC for iOS did stop working on the project, but someone else has picked up the project and the new developer is Sarah H on Twitter. 
I'll have that Twitter linked in the description below if you want to follow for more updates on GC for iOS and some other stuff the developer is working on. But I was able to have a conversation with the developer and what's new in GC for iOS that has changed from the original one is that it now uses Dolphin 2017 emulator to play GameCube games on GC for iOS as well as speeds are now up to 5 to 20 frames per second depending on the game and you can actually see some footage of GC for iOS on a channel called Brad175 who has been testing out a ton of play and GC for iOS games on his iPhone XR. So a huge shout out goes out to him for testing that out. And that's an iPhone XR. Imagine how fast it'll be on the new iPhone 11 or the iPhone 11 Pro. So there's a lot to look forward to when it comes to GC for iOS. There's still a lot of graphical glitches in GC for iOS games, as well as just like Play, it relies on JIT and that only works with the jailbreak. So as of now, GC for iOS is only available with the jailbreak, although you can install Play and GC for iOS without a jailbreak on your iOS device, they will not run games unless you're jailbroken because of that JIT that I mentioned before. Now, there is hope for JIT to come to non-jailbroken devices. Actually, the developer of Delta, Riley Tested, has been teasing for a while, but has not confirmed anything that GameCube may be the next emulator on his list to hit after he's finished developing Nintendo DS for Delta. So, maybe if people continue to support him on Patreon, and if he feels like doing it, he'll bring GameCube to Delta. And as we know, Delta is a non-jailbroken emulator, and the developer actually doesn't really jailbreak his iOS devices. He's more of a no-jailbreak person. So, if he's gonna work on an emulator like GameCube, it'll probably be for without a jailbreak. And there has been word or rumors I read on the alt server discord that someone said that there is a method to get JIT working on non-jailbroken devices and if that's true then maybe soon in the future like in two three years we might have PlayStation 2 and GameCube games running full speed on non-jailbroken devices but who knows if that is even possible the first step would be for JIT to start working on non-jailbroken devices and then we can see if it'll get to full speed on iOS devices. But as of now, if you have a jailbroken device, you can try Play in GC for iOS for yourself. See what type of speeds you're getting. If you have an iPhone XS Max, I would love to know what speeds you're getting using those emulators because I've only seen a little bit of footage outside on YouTube of people testing those emulators. But yeah, there is a future for PlayStation 2 and GameCube games on iOS, but we'll just have to wait and see how they go. I'll be continuing to track the development on my YouTube channel whenever there's major updates. I'll definitely make a video on that. And yeah, I hope that that updates you and answers your questions about GameCube and PS2 coming to iOS. So if you're as excited as I am about these new consoles coming to iOS and emulation making bigger steps on iOS because iOS is definitely lacking behind Android, then please hit that like button to show your support. I would love to continue making these updates if you all would like to see them. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos about Play or GC for iOS as they get updated, as well as I make a ton of other awesome tutorials that I highly recommend that you check out. So subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you're actually notified when I upload videos. And until then, I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.